The Chief Secretary calls on the PM to revoke the appointment of Dr. Delmon Baker, using technology to bring employees and employers together, and SNAG receives financial assistance for its 2015 golf program. Info Update, bringing you the latest news, views, and, and reviews, reviews, along with responses, comments, and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. The Chief Secretary of London says the Minister of Tobago Development, Dr. Delmon Baker, is not deserving of his ministerial portfolio, nor should he be the representative for Tobago West. He wants the Prime Minister to revoke his appointment. Mr. London came to this conclusion after writing Dr. Baker, asking him to retract a statement he made about crime in Tobago. In February, the minister said, and these are his words, your chances of being shot dead are higher in Tobago because of our population size than in Trinidad. Back then, Mr. London criticized that statement, saying it had no merit. He said the crime statistics for this island also contradicted Dr. Baker's assertion. The Chief Secretary also wrote to Dr. Baker demanding a retraction and an apology, but received this response. What Dr. Baker did was to take my correspondence, my original correspondence, place it in an envelope and send it back to my office. That is his response to a request, which I think is a reasonable request, coming from me as Chief Secretary of Tobago, who has a responsibility for the welfare of the people of Tobago, asking him as a representative of Tobago to do what is necessary to save Tobago from potential embarrassment and potential damage from his words. The Chief Secretary says, although Dr. Baker promised to reveal the source of his information, he never did. I cannot see how an individual like that, who is prepared to undermine Tobago's development and who is so arrogant that he is not prepared to apologize so that his mistake can in fact be rectified. Statistics from the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service show a 39% decrease in serious crime in Tobago for the period 2013 to 2014. Whether you're job hunting or you're an employer seeking to fill a vacant position in Tobago, there's an easy way to find out what's available on the job market. Davia Chambers tells us more. The Division of Finance and Enterprise Development now has an Employment Exchange Bureau. That's a hub for those looking for work or a place that employees can place an advertisement indicating they're available for employment. According to the Business Development and Marketing Officer of the Tobago Information Technology Limited, Curtis Balfour, businesses and public sector organizations can also use the forum to upload vacancies. It benefits job seekers because now they have a, a medium where they can relax, search for jobs in Tobago, and after all that traveling and studying, uh, a lot of them can come back home and have a place to work. The Employment Exchange Bureau is also a cost-effective method for small businesses that have no recruitment budget. Job seekers and employers can visit www.tobagojobs.gov.tt for more information on the Employment Exchange Bureau. I'm Davia Chambers for Info Update. Golf is not just for the elite. And in Tobago, the organizers of the Chief Secretary's Golf Tournament are ensuring that our young Tobagonians get the opportunity to learn the sport. Umadara Mills tells us what they're doing. The facilitators of the starting New Art Golf, or SNAG as it's called, received financial assistance from the sponsors and organizers of the Chief Secretary Golf Tournament. SNAG is a program designed to teach young people the fundamentals of golf. It started a few years ago, but to ensure its longevity, the organizers decided to donate $40,000 to help pay the golf coaches for their services. The Chief Secretary of London says this kind of assistance allows golf to be more accessible to all in Tobago. We do have an opportunity to assist in affording young Tobagoians the opportunity to play a game which a lot of people felt was for the elite. And I must take the opportunity to congratulate Mr. Hossier and Mr. Wallace for facilitating this. This year, the program will start in the third school term and target mostly primary school students 10 years and older. I'm Umdara Mills for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Lois Vincent and you've been listening to Info Update.